Today's the day we're picking it up, taking it to Performance Auto Spot, and the chassis is gonna go over to Lucor for further disassembly, engine rebuild. Rich, none of it will be possible without this guy. This guy, so awesome. Everybody here is really happy to see it go because it's actually been sitting here for a week or so. And by a week or so, I mean like a month. Other cool projects that True Performance has going on right now, I'm just kind of paying around here. They got this amazing dump bed truck. Uh, and uh, this is somewhat, somewhat cool. A little bit of uh, Bentega, first, first generation Bentega. There's Rich doing his thing. Oh, always smiling. I don't know how he does it. moment there uh the universal casters let the car move in ways i didn't expect so uh you know that was something honestly for the first time in this whole project i'm excited like and it really is nice that they put the rear deck on because yeah. it sort of gives it this new wing it awesome. gives it form and then you've got like a duck bill comes off the back yeah there, right? yeah and the exciting thing about that is i don't know if you can see if it'll let's see if i can you can. So the lip of this spoiler kicks up and the long transom, which was not fitted to cars that came with this, uh, this wing, it was actually fitted to like a GT3, which we didn't get in the United States. But the long, and also the, uh, I believe the V8 GT, which did not have a wing. So it elevates uh, quite a bit more drastically than the transom that's on all the cars that either came with this wing or came with the V8 wing or even the S4S wing. So I'm pretty stoked about it. We're about to see it in daylight for the first time. As soon as he gets it uh, strapped down in about, strapped down in 15 different ways so it doesn't, uh, doesn't go walking on him. Um, but attention to detail. You can see, uh, you know, up in here, these have been coated. Uh, I didn't really get great footage of it, but the uh, inside of the uh, floor, which had some nastiness to it, was all um, clean, degreased, uh, media blasted, and then coated. Uh, this, you can see, you know, pretty great attention to detail here. All of that is gonna get a paint protection film a performance auto spa so um, we're kind of debating probably back here will not be covered in paint protection film for sure the rocker panels will get paint protection film this whole front will get paint protection film the bumper will get paint protection film probably the pillars uh, and roof will get paint protection film uh, and then the rest will just be uh, ceramic coated and here's bear and for those of you who are like, everybody should be wearing a mask when they're doing body work. Look, he's not even doing body work, he's wearing a mask. <laughs> what are you painting today? An X3. An X3. That's How about this truck. truck? This truck is crazy. Yeah, not today though. Not today, not today with the truck. I see you. I don't know that they ever really saw you. Now they're seeing you. Hey. Look, look at all this bareness. Yeah. There's Dirty. the bear, there's the bear. I was just talking about how we were going to put this in the showroom at Performance Auto Spa and Rich just said it'll look great in the showroom as long as he doesn't wreck on the way there. That's a quote from Rich. Got any other great quotes, Rich? My son was telling me what I needed to do to get more subscribers. This thing falling off, it, I, I don't want those subscribers. I don't want viral due to horror and calamity. Here it goes. 
It looks reasonably solid. No! No! Don't even no, jest! No. This is giving you a real good opportunity to see like where the S1 st stops and where the modern S S3, S4, well really I guess S3, <laughs> S4, modern uh, Stevens uh, Esprit begins to give you just kind of a visual idea. When you have that rear transom off, when you have the rear bumper effect off, you can see they essentially just laid over fiberglass over the original, kind of like that about Lotus. And ladies and gentlemen, here is Seth, service rider at Performance Auto Spa. Call Seth to get your ceramic coating, paint protection film, window tint, wheel refinishing, needs not. Well, what you should do right now, it, while you're waiting for them to wipe down the car, is subscribe to my channel, send it to a friend, because this is the best of all Lotus Esprit builds. You will remember that years ago I shared my V8, uh, and this is sort of the resurrection of that original JPS concept, but with a little bit of a change. Uh, the hue of amethyst black that we chose is because in the daylight it still kind of looks like a black car just with like some uh, purple metallic when sun hits it it really uh, which you would not see today because it is very overcast and nasty out but chassis is on the tr on the truck and on its way to lucor where they're gonna pull the engine is even more scary they just the scary never stops here this is but uh here you go and just you know we've done this before in this uh series but how amazing the workmanship is on this fully galvanized backbone next frame chassis uh what we're working on here is this is the window they came out of the Esprit. This looks like the passenger side. And while I don't want to tint it, I do want to protect the new interior that's going in the car. And so we're going to use a product from Lumar. This is the company. And the product is called Air 80. It's got a little bit of a blue hue to it. Uh, it'll look nice against the purple. It'll also protect the interior from the ravages of the sun. Now we're going to take it off. We're going to take off the decades old tint using tent off available from 44 tools wood grain will he just finished this uh he just finished this pinto which you will now see Somewhat as a side note, interestingly, this same product is what uh, I use in a dilution to get sticky buttons unsticky in Italian cars. So again, you can get it from 34 Tools. So as you can see, this is really excruciating work. Uh, I always talk about people like, oh, I want to be a tenor. Tenting is, uh, tenting is not only an art form, but uh, it takes an incredible amount of patience 
and attention to detail. Well, so what's the next, what's the next step here? Then the plot, right? If the plot works. <laughs> the next step. The next step is made. So yeah, plot. there is a uh, plot, which is on this computer over here. So they have in their registry of cars, this, this car, sometimes the plots aren't quite right. And so we'll find out. He's gonna finish cleaning this up. What will you, will you use a window cleaner or anything else? Uh, uh, for what's the yeah, next? I'll probably use some uh, dirt off. Dirt off. Yeah, it's a final crack. Dirt off. Another product available from Forty Four Tools. This is the final cleaning. I cleaned it, but I, I just feel more comfortable with Will. Uh, he's got a much higher aptitude for fine details. He just found a little piece of film still on there. And when, when you're dealing with film that has been, you know, this car wasn't driven for, I don't know, had to watch one of the older videos myself to remember, but I think 15 to 20 years that it sat and it just baked on there day after day after day after day. So, as windows go, this is uh, one of the most yuck. So the process that Will is gonna do now is called shrinking. Uh, and that is, once he gets this flat, you're gonna see there'll be little areas that don't quite lay down. And he is gonna shrink those out. So like this one right here, that pocket, that pocket, so that uh, when he's done, the tent will conform totally to the curvature of the glass. Because uh, even though this looks like a pretty flat pane of glass in the car, you can see that it is not uh, flat. Um, we're gonna have him tent the windshield too, and I always thought the windshield was flat. And I'm guessing the windshield, windshield, windshield also probably is not flat. And what you're watching here is the difference between me, who can tent a window, and Will, who is a tenter. Tenting is definitely one of those things where I would say, don't try this at home. It, uh, it's deceptively, it looks like one of those things that you can do, but only Will can do it. It's good. finished product barely tinted but is gonna block all of the things which would destroy the new interior so this is Rick, this is Ricky from the auto spa okay. uh, I have put the other esprit in here now for maximum esprit overload uh, it is still dripping wet so this has already been wet sanded. The top portion of the car has been wet sanded to get any nibs or media pop or anything. God, I cannot believe how smooth it is. Like this is the factory door from Lotus. Let me, and if you see down here, I mean, it's really nice, but there's some ripples in it. I don't know if you can see that on the film or not, but it, you know, it's, it's significantly less smooth than this door, which Ricky is now about to wipe off. Oh, this color. I love this color. This color. 
And because it's YouTube, everyone's now about to critique everything that's happening. Mm -hmm. He said there were going to be some compound. I think this is compound. I think that's compound. It looks, yeah, it looks like it. And we're not going to go after that because if we go after the compound, we're just going to put other little scratches in the car. And it will be finely polished before film goes on it, which film may. Gosh, it looks so good. It's film may cover this section, but also may not. This is a little compound spot there. The reflections, again, this has not had any polishing done to it yet. So there are some halos in it. You can see from where they wet sanded it, where they got a little more aggressive uh, flattening it out. This is what it looks like when I'm about to cry. This is the, this is tears of joy. Look. Looks a lot better without dust all this over it. This color is so the right call. And yep, uh, this right here and get some light from top. We'll yeah. Oh, look spot. at look at right right there. <gasps> right there. Now. Right there. No, but right. Oh, oh, oh kind of. Yeah. So good. Oh man. And you can see here. You know, one of the things about the S4 body is the V8 and and the European S4Ss have a, a piece that goes on right here, but it doesn't change the profile of this. It doesn't allow you to get any more wheel up here. And I think you know, when you look at this, it's already really swollen. It's already a very wide car. And I just think for cars that were equipped with that from the factory, that's fine. Um, for this S4, I think we're going to go, I'm not trying to be super purist or anything, but I just think with the offset of these wheels is going to have them really nice, really nice out there and not, you know, not too much. Um, I think it'll add to the profile of the car when you look right down the side of it. It's not going to have an additional half inch of, of piece right there. Again, sort of like this is the, this is the same body on this car same profile and if you watch my other video in europe these would have had the the v8 uh fender flares you don't often get to see these apart but when you do you can see essentially this is where the profile of like an s1 uh car narrow car that comes on those wolf race wheels ends right about here that the tail lights would be in this sort of area um so you're already looking you know at a much wider car uh with with an s4 or even an S3, where it kind of started to really grow in stature. This video series is just me talking about how light reacts to this color from this point forward. Interestingly, and I'll show you on the other car, there's a sticker that goes here and it's like, man, I don't want to cover up any of the purple. And as far as where the gold accents are gonna go, I think still here, I think we're still gonna put gold accents there. This color, I'm so in love with it. If you're about to paint any car, it should be this color. Like seriously, if if the car was black or Ford probe or any purple color to, to start with, you know, and again, you can see the transition to the original color and the inside it fades to this uh, original black, which is unremarkable. Hopefully I'm going to have a surprise for you on the spare. I'm working on that right now. We'll see if it manifests and because this is a resurrection project, a one off one one off set of 1552 concave tarmax weirdly the only set in existence and brad and matt have now sold the company on so uh will there ever be another set probably not and they really are perfect in the car these headlight buckets you know even on the on the oh this color the, look at this color you can't even oh my set. gosh this color is so good uh, and the real question, and you guys, for those of you who make it to whatever point in the video this is, what, what, what should we use here? What emblem? There's two options. There's the, the green and yellow Lotus emblem. This would is, is what would have come on the car. Uh, a couple years before this car, they had a black and gold emblem, like the vintage Lotus emblem. I'm torn. I really am torn. The next update is going to be mechanical, I think. We're going to be finding out how bad the inside of the engine is. So stay tuned for that, and by all means, please subscribe to the channel.